Anyone who owns a VR headset probably dreams of having the kind of VR tech seen in Ready Player One. Um, yeah. And thanks to the B Haptics TacSuit X40, that dream is closer to reality than you think. This cool looking wearable tech has 40 haptic feedback points across the front and back, which can simulate over 400 different patterns based on the VR game you're playing. Which, speaking of, I was surprised to find out just how many games are natively supported. It's 244 to be exact. But what exactly does this thing do? And more importantly, how does it actually add to the VR experience? Well, to answer both of those questions, in this video we're going to be diving into breachers to show off how this haptic vest actually performs. One. Oh my gosh. And by the way, I'm doing this entirely on a standalone Quest 3. It was super easy to pair the haptic vest to my standalone headset via Bluetooth, and I've heard it's just as easy to set up on PC VR. And thankfully, once it's paired, you're pretty much good to go. The only trouble I had was recording with this app that lets you see what I'm feeling, but the app itself is pretty cool. I can like select specific points to light up and feel them vibrate. Whoa, why does this feel nice though? This literally feels like someone rubbing my back. Okay, we can also do things like Draw circle. Oh, uh, explosion on my back. Oh, it's like I actually just blow up. The the sensations are all cool, but like without the visuals and sound to go with them, obviously they're not as realistic. But in game, while like things are actually happening around you, I feel like this is gonna be crazy. And while it's awesome to be able to feel different sensations via this B Haptics app, what you really wanna know is how it works in game. And there, it does not disappoint. We're gonna test this out with bots first. Okay, I'm so excited to try this out. We turned up the vibration sensitivity to max, so we wanna try a powerful gun. How about, how about this? Okay, let's actually get out there. I'm, I'm like nervous to get shot. I don't know what it's gonna feel like. Oh. Oh my gosh. This thing feels so powerful now. I like feel the recoil in my chest. Okay, come on, go grenade. Nice. We're rocking the pistol now. We'll see how this feels. Cause I like, I like the recoil on my arm. I'm also interested to try a healing syringe, because that might feel really cool depending on like where you put it. We'll try it. Hello! Ooh. Gosh. That's cool. I think my heart was beating as I was dying on the ground. That feels so cool. This adds not only so much immersion and realism to the game, but it also gives you a slight tactical advantage. You'll be able to feel exactly which direction you're getting damaged from and- Wait, wait, wait. It's for science. Ow! That makes your instincts to turn and shoot back work that much better. That is, assuming you weren't just immediately shot in the head. Ah, oh, right in the face. I like that little vibration it gives you when the round starts, so you know, like, you're not gonna get caught off guard. That's genuinely helpful. Oh. My teammates might think I'm crazy, but I wanna know what this feels like. <laughs> I wanna walk over this incendiary grenade. Finally, I get to use this. There's three of them left, so don't push your response. Oh, oh man. Me too. Ow! Plus, another genuinely useful feature is the slight vibration you get when picking up items or storing them on your chest in game. This prevents you from accidentally or unknowingly dropping your weapons in the heat of battle and not being able to use them when the time comes. One of the important things that I want to test is if each of these guns feels differently to shoot. Alright, let's try the pistol first. That's pretty cool. This one's a little more powerful. Oh. 
Anything with a stock feels better because it actually is like vibrating against your chest. I could do this all day. Yeah, I know. I know. Last two. I kind of like that one. This one kicks more than I feel like it should because of how small it is, you know what I mean? But this one, I like this type of place. I'll probably be using that. And real quick, huge thank you to Impact Reality for sponsoring this video and hooking me up with this Behaptic suit. I really enjoyed my time using it in Breachers and I can't wait to see what it can add to my other VR games. This time we are breaching, so let's try the breaching foam because that will hopefully feel cool if we're like standing here. I guess whoever has foam, could you blow that wall into a site? Breaching. I'm starting to get to know this map. I like the lighting a lot. There's a lot of variation in the colors, so it's not like, it doesn't all feel like it's the same room, you know what I mean? Um, what am I doing with this? What if I got rid of that? No, it's fine. Be sure to let me know if there are any games in particular you want me to cover with this suit, or if you have more general questions, I'll try to answer as many as I can down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, remember to like this video and subscribe if you aren't already. It's totally free and it helps me with the YouTube algorithm a ton. I'm Virtual Bro, and I'm gonna improv this outro. Um, I don't know, I don't know what to say, I just, uh, go watch one of my other videos. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, that's good.